what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Guys, today we're going to do another movie review. Movie review. I'm awful excited for such a different kind of a movie. Ooh, this one's going to get you guys. As usual, I have my handy dandy trusty notebook. Why? Because I am not going to remember all these things. Okay? I'm not going to do it. I can't remember my phone number. I'm good to remember my name. So I use my handy dandy trusty notebook. So let's get on to the movie. The movie today we're going to review slash basically talk about is National Lampoon's Dirty Movie from 2011. Basically, this movie, like many movies, is just another movie, another company that bought the rights to the National Lampoon's title. Okay? I don't know what it is about that National Lampoon's, but... It's a popular title for whatever reason. So, let's go on to the stars of the show. And I use that loosely. We have Emily Donahoe. In hopes that I said that correctly. Christopher Melanie. Diane Neal. And there are many others in this movie, but honestly, it's not important. Here's the story. A crazy, dirty rancher, rancher, son of a, a crazy, dirty, raunchy, over-the-top movie about a guy, Charlie LaRue, played by Christopher Melanie, who wants to make a movie that is only about offensive, dirty, racist, really bad jokes. It's kind of a movie within a movie, the way it's shot. This movie will not be for everyone. It is dirty and raunchy at times. Guess what? I love it. I'm just your typical old school guy. I love TNA. I love dirty, flirtatious, in-your-face, stupid movies. Uh, I don't apologize for it. It brings out my 15-year-old boy side and takes me back 30 years to when we could say things that were racist, over-the-top, dirty, and there wasn't a bunch of whining about it and... Uh, controversy especially online and then you know it, you know it's a different it's a different day and age now in the 2000s so uh there was a time when things were more accepted and i like those times uh no one's uh and no one's out of the crosshairs you know uh, there was a time when you could make fun of black people uh, white people, yellow people, brown people, uh, I don't care what they are, who they were, where they're from, their religion, their gender, no matter what, uh, no matter if they were mentally uh, or physically handicapped, nothing. Uh, everything was on the table and you could run with it and it was okay. And if people got offended, then they got offended and that's just the way it was. I love those times. I miss those times. And I support any movie that supports those things. <clears throat> so if you like those things, uh, you might get a few chuckles out of this movie. If not, if you're easily offended, if you don't find humor and just the dirtiest of jokes and the most ignorant things and, and move on. You don't want to watch this. 
it is a low budget movie. Uh, the acting is not what's going to win you over. It almost looks like it was shot uh, kind of like The Office TV show almost. It, it looks about like that. It's simple. It's stupid. It's offensive. Yes. But I like it. Tasteless, horrible jokes. Some of them land. Some of them don't. But it is what it is, guys. It's just one of those real low budget, in your face, shock value, stupid humor. You're going to get some of it. You're not going to get some of it kind of movies. Uh, there's jokes that revolve around rednecks and midgets and blondes and blacks and TNA and there's religion and race and old people and fart jokes and sex and there's nuns and there's young kids and there's just everything. Everyone is on blast and that is what I found actually entertaining. Uh, I, I just like that kind of stuff. And again, as I've mentioned before in uh, in another video listen I'm a guy all right it's no secret that we guys like a little bit of TNA and anytime I see a movie uh, where there's some flashing of some TNA or whatever and I, I, I just I just love it it's not necessarily for the TNA it's just it brings me back it's nostalgic it takes me back to when I was younger you know a teenager an older teenager uh, before I got involved in life, you know, and uh, and it, it just brings back that excitement and that that just stupidness and and that wonderment. Uh, and I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I enjoy that kind of stuff. That slapstick, uh, coming of age, um, raunchy, weird stuff. That's what I like. Now I'm not saying that's what I sit around and watch all the time. I'm saying I go through periods of, of my life of a year, you know, during the year where I like to watch some of that stuff because I just find it entertaining. You know, I just do. Uh, this movie is not going to win any awards. Uh, it didn't have great reviews if you go out and look at the reviews. Uh, for me, though, uh, it, it honestly... It's one of those movies that I would watch again just to try and catch all the stupid jokes and and, uh, and just experience the stupid story, the, the characters. The char some of the couple of the characters are really kind of goofy and over the top. And, uh, mainly uh, the, the guy that's uh, trying to make the movie. Uh, what was his name? Charlie. Uh, Charlie LaRue. Uh, and he's a an actor that you guys know, uh, that Christopher Melanie. Uh, but his character's so stupid, kind of creepy, and I got the big glasses and all, kind of just weird. But anyway, this is an odd, awkward, strange review discussion uh, because it's just such a weird movie, and it's not going to be for everyone. So I'm going to cut this one off right here. Guys, I hope you like my videos. I try to give you a little bit of something different all the time. Oh, and as far as this movie goes, you're going to be completely blown away here. But, guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, let me look here. Because I'm going to surprise myself. I'm going to give this movie a 5 out of 5 just for the raunchy adult stupid humor over the edge jokes and I don't apologize for it. I don't. I don't apologize. Anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment. Share my channel with people. Uh, I have all kind of stuff out there from cycling to food to book readings to video games to discussions the, the all kind of stuff I'm, I'm kind of versatile all right enjoy my channel i do it for myself i do it for you and don't forget you can get up 
get out, get rad, and do it to it. Even when reviewing a raunchy little flick. Good stuff, guys. We'll see y'all later. Go watch that movie.